What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2021-22 Top Stadium Club Chrome Hobby Box for the UEFA Champions League. A uh, bit of a late release, you know, just a couple months, but don't really know what's going on over at Tops. But hey, we get to take a look at it now. Uh, picked up for 210 from an LCS and everything online seems to be in that same ballpark, if not a bit higher. And unless there's something miraculous about this set, um, pretty fair assumption to say that the prices will go down a bit more, so maybe it's worth waiting. Uh, until you like grab one of these but we'll find out i guess and uh, before we get into it just want to let you guys know that we are giving away some singles and um, a couple packs here uh just these two cards from last year's uh japan boxes uh, portanova rookie out of 75 and noah lang out of 125 and just a couple of packs from this year's top sets the regular one and the uh chrome one uh, both hobby packs so yeah, just comment, uh, hashtag uh, soccer cards down below and you'll be entered into the draw, which we'll probably do uh, in a week or so. But let's get right into it guys. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing. It really helps us out and really helps the channel grow and uh, you know, makes it easier to put more content and reviews out there for you guys. All right, so what do we got besides that? So, 6x18 formats are getting 108 cards total. We should be getting 4 parallels per box. I think 3 of them are going to be numbered. Uh, and then the auto, of course. So, no pack odds on the box. I'm not going to bother kind of showing you guys that. But, um, we did actually, before we get into the packs... Uh, we did get a few extra types of parallels comp compared to last year's set, but um, they did bring the base set size down back to 100 from like 200, which in my opinion is huge, um, which, you know, should mean a higher chance to pull a numbered card, which is nice, but that's with the caveat that um, a bigger print run, of course, is like the whole reason why they probably did this. Um, I haven't looked at the pack odds, but we'll do that in a sec. Um, so I'll definitely throw up uh, an odds table on the screen at some point in the video. But uh, yeah, let's look at this first pack here. See if this sets the tone for the rest of the box, or maybe we'll get surprised later. But looks like we have a base pack. First one, Joel Felix. Ryan Gravenberg. And Gavi, rookie base. Going to put this one over here. Ketelada. Recently posted a video of him teaching people how to pronounce his name on our Instagram. So if you're curious, well, actually now it's gone because it's, it's uh, it was a story. But uh, yeah, ending this one with Antoine Griezmann. But um, yeah, I mean, if you're not familiar with this product, the whole point is to make cards with some of the best looking photos out there. You know, like players looking like photogenic and whatnot in some of them. But uh, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, let me show you the pack odds. So, I mean, what are the new base parallels that we got? And hopefully you pause that to read the whole thing because, yeah, that was like three seconds. Um, but they swapped orange, yellow, electric with um, pink and red. They threw in black and whites, uh, night vision, uh, sepia. For, and honestly, that one for me is massive. <laughs> like, uh, I'm into photography and stuff, so for me, that's, that's definitely a win. Um, just love the, like, brown... Uh, multi-tone that you get from that if you're not familiar just google sepia and you'll find out what it is <laughs> but um yeah and they changed the regular red into a red wave so here's sadio mane one of his last cards in the liverpool jersey probably erling holland base holding the trophy and our first refractor championship contributions antoine griezmann just showing you guys the back we put this one in the insert pile right here. Donnarumma for PSG and Suchich rookie. And one more rookie, Jordan Sibachu. Not familiar with this guy. But something I did notice on the sell sheets for this product is the fact that it says like hobby exclusive next to some of the parallels. At this point, I have no idea what it means, like exactly what it means. Other than the fact that we could potentially see like a light version because we've seen that with so many of the top two wafer products. Uh, but what makes more sense to me actually is the fact that we could get retail um, because they increased 
the print run so much, it only makes sense that they're gonna throw in some uh, some retail products. So that'd be nice. All right, this is our first parallel, maybe? I don't know, I see some color here, but I think this is kind of what's gonna designate um, if it's a like parallel or not. Yeah, so it's not like numbered or anything, but we'll see when we get some color from these packs. TAA real time, I think this is one of the new inserts that they added. Kunku, VVD. And one of the more photogenic ones of, wait, is he taking a picture of himself? I don't think so. Yeah, I thought that's what it looks like. Geo Reyna. Yeah, so far no color. This is like, what, pack three or, or pack four or something. Already lost track. But honestly, yeah, just really looking forward to the auto. Oh, uh, look at this guy. Talk about photogenic. I don't think I've ever seen him outside of a Barsha jersey. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, just looking for the auto and any cool parallels. It looks like we got our first one here. Might be one of the uh, blues or aqua. PSG Neymar Jr. It's probably him walking down the track. Out of the bus going to the... Oh, so it's not numbered. Oh, that's confusing. Yeah, so it just says refractor, but it's probably because the background color of this card is blue it looks like it could be a blue refractor that's a little tricky sandro tonali nice shot there sancho and look at these guys roberto carlos okay i was trying to figure out who this was supposed to be of what a champ one of my favorite players of all time if you haven't seen his crazy crazy free kick just go to youtube type in roberto carlos free kick and you'll see how far or how much it bends. One of the craziest free kicks of all time. All right, Cole Palmer, rookie base. We have a Gavi, a real time. Just a regular refractor. It's got a little, little ding in the middle. I don't know if that's part of the design, probably not. But Benjamin Sesco, base. Trezeguet. An interesting one. And Peter Schmeichel. So we didn't talk about rookies yet, and we already pulled a lot of them, a lot of the ones that we're looking for, but they're all bases, of course. Got Pulisic here holding the trophy. But uh, yeah, you want to keep an eye out for Gavi, you know, Benjamin Sesco, Anthony Alanga, Jonathan David, Cole Palmer even. Uh, I guess there's still a market for Sydney Raybigger somehow. If you know, you know. And I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, Cristiano Ronaldo, Refractor. Nice shot. So every time I see Refractor now, what's confirming it for me is this little piece here, because I think that's what determines uh, whether it's a Refractor or not. And is this our auto? I hope not, because it's for Atalanta. Okay, all right. <laughs> Zapata. And this one, okay, so I was just talking about this. So there's like barely any color. I don't know if you guys can see, it just looks like a regular wave. But this one is definitely numbered out of 250. And I guess this is our confirmation up here. I mean, it's kind of disappointing. There's not much like ink in there, but yeah, I don't know. Let's put this one in a sleeve. Do a recap at the end, of course. But yeah, hopefully some of the other cards kind of look better than that. Lukaku and Anthony Alanga. We basically got almost every rookie. So I'm just fixing this this pile. Doesn't really mean anything, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we basically got every base of every rookie we've been looking for. Let me set this down real quick. All right, looks like we got some more color, unless that's just one of those Golden Boy inserts or something like that. Gutierrez. And Jeremy Pino, Glimpses of Gold. All right, so that's the Golden Boy thing that I was talking about. Just a regular insert. Levin Golski, love this shot. It's probably one of the best pictures they have in this set. What a guy. Depay and Muriel. Okay, so hoping to see some more color. I mean, we still have a lot of packs left, but 
You know, I'm probably going through like a very irregular order. Sometimes they're they're put in the box in a certain way. Some people can like figure out where the parallels are, which is, you know, kind of strange as it is, but, oh, look at that. I love these shots, man. If they have like players doing overheads, like for every single player and like scissor kicks, that'd be such an amazing set. Andrea Pirlo, what a legend. And Tyler Morton. All right, more color any day now. Hoping this isn't one of those error boxes. Highly doubt it. All right, so this is what the base looks like. It's pretty blue, so that's why the refractor looks like it's full of color. All right, Barcelona. Xavi, all right, let's go. It's just a refractor though, but a legend nonetheless. Nuno Mendez. Oh, now this I've never seen happen before. Double base rookie back to back. Does this happen to any one of you guys before? Let me know down in the comments. Would love to hear it. But that's definitely, that's like definitely a first time occurrence for me. Hmm. Typically it's like a base then a parallel, but that one was like neither. So, all right. So it looks like we got color here. It's probably the uh, guaranteed one per box, uh, pink and red. Ooh, Eric Cantona. And it looks like it is. It's a rookie, Manchester United. Is it Alanga? It is, Anthony Alanga. And I don't know if this is a variation. I'll have to look at the checklist. But wow, look at this thing in the back. It reminds me of like Stranger Things or something. All right, let me put these over here. Show you guys the card. So there's like some tint to it, but it's very, very hard to tell. And this is the um, guaranteed one per box kind of parallel. It's gonna be fairly common. So let's just put this over here. One of the rookies we're looking for, Man U. Obviously Man U is uh, trying to figure out what to do with their team, but got Urian Timber, all skulls. And this set is it's way nicer than I thought. But um, yeah, besides, besides that <laughs> lack of color, which is kind of disappointing to say the least. Um, actually here, let me let me show an example of what it should look like. Just have this card laying around. So this is from this year's Bundesliga set and you see how green it is. Like this is a numbered card. I think this one's out of 99. Yeah, but um, this is what it's supposed to look like. And if we get cards like this, where the color is like really faded, like it doesn't like pop out. I don't know. I feel like that's the whole point of stadium like parallels. So, I don't know who decided to start saving money at Tops in terms of like ink, but yeah, definitely a letdown for me. Seems like they just like added that little corner piece to like designate it, which is kind of lame. But uh, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about that. Do you guys even care? Does it matter? Is it a deal breaker for you? And Nico Gonzalez, black and white. This one should be numbered. Let me flip it over. Yep, out of 2.99, Nico Gonzalez, Barca rookie. Just put this one over here. But yeah, I mean, if it's if it's not that much of a deal breaker, then I think you're good with this set. I think everything about this is just like really, really nice. One of my favorite sets that typically come out. Uh, more of like photographs than cards, I want to say. I guess that's the feeling that I get, but uh, to me, it doesn't make a difference. They're the size of cards that we typically collect, and yeah, I just wish they had more color. We could talk about it all day, guys. All right, Eduardo Camavinga. And at this point, I don't know if we got any variations. I think there's only like five players in the checklist who are getting variations. But is this our auto? I think it is our auto. I see the auto sticker. You guys already saw the player. Diogo Jota for Liverpool. This one is just a regular auto. Nice, clean auto right there. Honestly, not one of the ones that I was looking for, but this is not one of the disappointing ones, that's for sure. Definitely one of the better autos to get. We'll put this one over here. As a Milan fan, you know, the checklist is really nice. They have uh, Maldini, Pirlo. Unfortunately, Zaghi's in his Juventus. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at that cheeky smile. 
Unfortunately, they have like Inzaghi in like his Juventus uh, uniform. So that's kind of sucks. But you can also get like a Chavi auto from Barcelona. So that'd be really nice to pull. But yeah, there's our auto, guys. You know, it could definitely be like really, really bad. And you just get some like random player that you don't even know. Sempre Milan. Let's go. Kalu looking fancy right there. All right, Nico Gonzalez base. Bellingham, G in the rain. No, maybe he's just celebrating a goal. Brendan Aronson doing work for Leeds and Conde. All right, we got five packs left. So quite a ways to go. But I think the Merlin set comes out next week. We've been waiting for it quite a while. TAA. And I think if there aren't any more delays, it should be on track to release on the 9th, September 9th. So really looking forward to that. I don't know if it's going to live up to the expectation of last year's Merlin, because that was by far my favorite set in recent times. It just looked really, really clean. The, the cards are really nice, the parallels and everything. And I've been collecting like the Rainbow Hurricane, just missing two cards, the uh, <laughs> Red Wave and the Super Fractor. Those have probably been pulled and maybe some people will sit on them, but all right. Our second uh, championship contributions. I thought you get like one unique insert per box, but maybe not. You can get a duplicate and Kevin De Bruyne, Lionel Messi and Vinny Jr. All right. Three packs left. This one feels sturdier than these two. I'm guessing there's something in that one in terms of uh, parallels. We got one, two, three. All right, so I think we have one more. One more plus the auto. But yeah, Champions League is gonna be pretty crazy this year with all the fixtures going on in the regular leagues. Um, everything is compressed because of the World Cup. That's just what happens when you <laughs> take it out of its regular summer schedule, which is, you know, whatever at this point. We just have to accept that it's, it is what it is. But two packs left. I want to say this box has not been, uh, it's not been bad actually. It's been uh, pretty good. I've been enjoying it. It could be a total dud box, which is something that kind of happens to us on the channel every now and then. I think it's a, the second one we get of this guy. So yeah, you can get repeats. And this is the third Nuno Mendes base. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm typically, well, I guess maybe because it's like a hundred card base set, it makes more sense that way. But yeah, actually before this last pack, um, if you are into like the Italian league or Serie A, we are going to be having a eight mall or eight box team all break. Uh, we're going to break on Saturday this week, and we're also going to potentially have a H2 from last year's Premier League Prism uh, case break. So check out our Discord and Instagram down below. And if you're interested, just send us a message. Uh, get the spots, they're typically cheaper than they are on eBay. But all right, here we go, last pack. Let's see if there is actually a parallel in here. Maybe not. Ansu Fati, and we do have a parallel. Jeremy Pino. This one is a aqua. I see some, some veins or some electric charges here is what they call them. This one is at a 199. And that's the last of our parallels. So yeah, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you're expected to get one, two, three, four. One of them is not numbered and then you get your auto. Your auto could be numbered. So technically that could be an extra one. Nice shot of Harvey Elliott here. And Kylian Mbappe. And ending with Weston McKinney for Juventus. I guess I'm going to go ahead and, and recommend this product. Uh, the images are really, really high quality. That's like the best thing about this. Uh, the lack of color, like in the parallels is a letdown, but I don't know the hundred card checklist and like auto checklist is pretty hard to beat. So I don't know, you compare those two to me, the hundred card checklist and the autos will always beat the lack of color, even though, you know, it is what it is. It's not this like here. Let me, let me show you this. So this is like a green, it's kind of close to the aqua color, but look at how like faded this is. Yeah, I don't know. But um, personally, not a fan of the electric pattern that they use, but you know, 
that's I guess part of the stadium, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, a, it's still like a very underrated product in my opinion. Uh, is it going to dip below 200 bucks per box? Um, only time will tell, but it might not historically have better resale value than Topps Chrome. But again, because this set is smaller, uh, we'll see what happens in the next like few weeks or months. Um, but compared to this year's sets in general, I think this is so far the best one. Like Topps Chrome is kind of disappointing and especially the paper one was like pretty disappointing as well. But yeah, hope you guys uh, found this video helpful at least. Uh, stick around for more uh, content giveaways. Uh, thanks for watching and as always, we'll see you in the next one.